Good morning and welcome to the Harvey Rock Physics presentation on Logscope. Uh, Logscope is an iPad and a Windows tablet slash laptop application uh, that allows the very quick viewing of log data. It has the ability to uh, cross plot the data and provide histograms on the axis. There is also uh, capability to edit headers and to do some basic log analysis as well as construct your own solver equations and Python scripts to manipulate the data. So with that said, let's move to Logscope itself. So if you look on the screen, the, um, the Logscope icon is in the bottom right hand corner, denoted by the oil droplet and the hourglass. If we tap on that icon, it brings up Logscope. There are three sections in the first page. First is projects. These are uh, projects or, or wells or, or last files that have been loaded into Logscope. Raw usually contains the raw last file. And there is a section called demo, which can be omitted or switched off. In, in the settings. Um, if we go to the settings, we have preferences, help, uh, account settings, which is where you uh, purchase the various modules, and feedback and discussion group access. So if we look at preferences, we have the ability to choose the template, the scale, and the open position. You may want to open plots at the bottom rather than the top because that's where your zone of interest is. Okay, so let's open example. And it's going to open using the basic uh, plot file. And as you can see, it's pulled up the curves at the base of the plot. And you can sort of see the scale. So if we scroll through it, we can scroll through the plot by simply um, moving up and down. Uh, basically. Now if we wish to set, change the scale of the plot, we can squeeze and that will change the scale of the plot. Now just before we move any further, across the top bar you've got log scope, you've got zone which allows the implementation of zones, You've got Merge, you've got Trim, you've got Refresh. Trim was added to allow people to clip the file over a particular interval rather than having the whole file. Um, then you've got Refresh, then you've got Feet or Meters, the Scale, and then Export. And the Export functionality allows you to export LAS through DLIS, through PDF, through a Logscope proprietary format, which is called Project, and you can send exactly what you see on the screen and exactly what you have in the database to another colleague by email or using uh, the export to uh, cloud-based services. You can take your plot template, email it, and export it, and you can do the same with uh, CTM uh, files as well. Print is interesting because you can actually print uh, to an AirPrint printer. Okay, along the bottom menu, we have Add a Track. So if we tap on that and we go Add a Track, you can add linear or log. So we'll do linear and you can see the track added. So if we tap on the track, we can also delete it by simply tapping on Delete. Now the next thing we're going to go through is manipulation of the curves. We can manipulate the curves by tapping on it. And you can drag the curve wherever you wish. You can reorder the curves.
by moving moving them around. We can incorporate shading in the plot by just simply clicking on shading, choosing the shading we want and drag it to the plot. If the shading is not what we like, we can just tap on the shading and edit it and we can change the shading to um, uh, to be a certain percentage and so on. Okay, the other thing is uh, the neutron um, is clipped by the edge of the track. So one of the parameters that you have is wrap, and we can change this to unwrap. So now we've got the neutron unwrapped. So let's change the scale to uh, 2000. And I'll just show you the uh, zoning uh, capability in in Logscope. We can um, zone uh, the file by just tapping on zone. Show zones means that it's going to show the zones. Edit allows us to actually edit the zone and put a zone in place. So we'll just tap on the zone. We'll call this A. And it can be moved up and down by simply tapping on it. And moving it up and down. So let's get this. That's about right. So we'll just hit OK. So this creates two zones in the file, and we'll move on to the log analysis, which we'll discuss next. So the log analysis is accessed by just tapping on log analysis, and it works through environmental all the way through to permeability. You can switch on and off each module. So if we switch off the RT and RXO, <coughs> Oops. It now asks us for those two particular logs because it said, okay, you don't want me to compute them, so you have to provide them to me. And then we look at the parameters, and the parameters are for each zone. Let's go back to here. Let's switch that on. Let's go to the parameters, and you have the standard parameters for a Gamma A, neutron density cross plot, and for A, M, and N, we can change the equation from Archie to Indonesia. And very importantly, we have all the overlays for all the charts um, in, in the log analysis. So let's go and do the same thing for zone A. So we want this to be the Indonesia equation. And we want the neutron tool uh, to be the uh, the N5. So I'm going to run this to pre-populate the data. But in order to change the parameters, uh, one can use the cross plots. So if we go to the cross plots now, we have the basic cross plot x, y, and z axes. So we'll populate the X with uh, the row B. And we'll make this uh, the minimum 2.9. And the maximum 1.9. Make this point one, point five. So let's put that axis in. Let's do the same for this. Let's make a neutron. Point 
point four five. So we've got the axis in there, and then the third one we'll just have a gamma ray, and we'll make this two hundred. So now you have the data on the cross plot, so you can see it's off. And whilst you could go in and change the scales, you can simply relocate the cross plot by squeezing, pinching, and moving the points around. You can add a region to the file and select the points and write that out as a flag. So that becomes a flag in the file, in the plot, and you can output that flag. We can also do linear regression. and so on and so forth. But it's a bit tedious to have to go through all the cross plots and draw the X and the Y axis for each one. So what we've done is when you have the log analysis module, you can actually select predefined cross plots. And these have all the parameters on. And you say, wait a minute, I don't have an idea of what the parameters are. Well, if you swipe out from the right, you can actually see the parameters for the cross plot. The points are moved by simply adjusting the particular points on the cross plot. If you want to know what a value is, you can hover on the cross plot and you'll get these red and red lines which allow you to choose what the point value is uh, and you can actually see. So what cross plots do we have? I like RWA gamma ray. I'm just going to widen that out a little bit. Move that up there and widen this out a little bit and I can move that to there squeeze it back in. So I've picked the points for that. We also have in there um, the standard picket plot and the reverse picket plot. So we just hit run and that will do the recomputation. Now if we go back to the plot, we have the plot of the basic data. You can look at the data in data view by simply tapping on the data and you have the data view um, like so. It's all the curves. You can choose which logs you wish to display. So we'll say select none. And I may be interested in Phi T, Phi E, SXO, SW, SE, and maybe the big clay. And I have all these uh, parameters here. So the header um, can be changed. You can edit any of the headers. Uh, you can see a preview of what the header looks like. You can have various logos. So let's go back to the cross plot. Now, I'd like to send my colleague uh, a really nice um, example uh, of my uh, interpretation. So I can tap on the load template and I can load the log analysis. So that's loaded the analysis and I can choose the scale.
And I'll just slide down to where I've got the reservoir. And I may want to uh, tell myself a comment on this plot. So I can say, all this thought. And the comment is on the plot. If you tap on the comment, you can move it. And I can say, well, actually, I want it somewhere clear. So it's moved. So I tap on it again. And I kind of think I want it a little bit bigger. So hey, we always thought it was gas filled. And then I could simply export the project and send it to a colleague. Uh, by email uh, and it would send everything associated uh, with this plot file to to uh, that to, uh, to my colleague uh, with functions I can do uh, a linear I can do logarithmic I can do unit conversion a log scope understands a wide range of units um, and, and gives you the ability to convert them. It has the ability to put in a solver equation and you can change these parameters. For example, uh, TFC may actually be an input. And it knows that it doesn't exist in the file as yet. And I may want to include compute the LOM. And this may be input. So, for example, I can just choose a, a log for that. And then you can actually run this and it will figure out what the LOM value is based on on the equation. So, um, the final thing which we'll do is the scripting. And so I'll just load, I've got a script based on TFC. And this is just to give you an idea of the complexity. These are output curves. And the input curves are defined as r dot i. So if we run this, it will go through and compute those those particular curves. So I now want to show a couple of things. Um, deviated plots. We put in the ability to display a very simple deviated plot. It only requires an inclination and an azimuth. And I'll just show you um, that with Mary one. Okay, so this is a plot, it's got these, and if we just tap on the deviated plot, there we have the deviated uh, the plot, the deviated plot. So if we we can change how we're looking at it by pinching and squeezing. And we'll just show you an example of the plot that's um,
Okay. And just to finish off, um, the final slide um, will give you an idea of the um, of the uh, of uh, the um, sorts of help that we have. We have a discussion group and we have support and we have manuals. So thank you.